Hi, and welcome back to Two Minutes of Power. Today's message is about Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. This scripture passage reminds us that we're saved not by works, but by grace, lest any man should boast. Let's take a look at this scripture. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. This passage of scripture reminds us, salvation is truly a gift. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So salvation is not something that we can earn by doing good deeds or paying enough money or, or doing any sort of thing. It's truly a gift that God gives to all of us, and it's up to us to receive that gift. I think about a contract where you're entitled to a car and you could take that car and go all over the world. But if you don't go to the dealership and receive that contract and get that car, you're not going to have access to it. Salvation is truly a gift from God that we access by faith, not by works. So we believe unto righteousness by faith, and that is the premise of the gospel, that we are saved as a body of believers by faith and by that we join the covenant promises of Abraham. He is our father and we are seeds according to that promise, joint heirs with Jesus Christ. He is a son of God and we are too as we believe unto righteousness. And he is the firstborn of many brothers, but we join the family of Jesus Christ by faith. I think about a child on Christmas morning, a baby, if you will. That baby cannot earn those gifts. The baby can't do enough good deeds to get the right presents or, or do the right things. It's just a little child. So when you're giving as a parent unto that baby, you just want the baby to enjoy. You want it to partake in. I want to leave you with this. No matter how old you are, where you are in the world, we all need to accept and receive the saving grace and salvation through Jesus Christ. Accept him on today if you haven't. Confess that Jesus Christ is your Savior and believe unto righteousness on today so you can join our heavenly family and be seated in heavenly places. Then your eternity is promised to you as you work out your salvation. God bless you.